The Illuminati refers to a purported secret society believed by some to control world affairs through governments and corporations, aiming to establish a new world order. This group is said to have originated from the Bavarian Illuminati, an Enlightenment-era secret society founded in 1776. Supporters of this theory claim the Illuminati has infiltrated all aspects of society, including politics, entertainment, and finance. They point to alleged symbols hidden in corporate logos, music videos, and architectural designs as evidence of the group's influence. Some believers argue that many world leaders and celebrities are members, citing hand gestures and symbolic imagery in public appearances. The theory suggests that major world events, including wars and economic crises, are orchestrated by the Illuminati to further their agenda. Proponents claim that the group's ultimate goal is to reduce the global population and create a single world government under their control. Some adherents believe the Illuminati possesses advanced technology and knowledge, potentially including extraterrestrial connections. Certain researchers argue that the group's influence can be traced through historical events and the rise of powerful banking families. Despite widespread dismissal from mainstream sources, the Illuminati theory continues to gain traction through social media and alternative news outlets. The Illuminati are the good guys theory, proposes that this secret society actually works towards positive societal change and progress. Proponents argue that the original Illuminati, founded in 1776, aimed to promote enlightenment ideals of reason, equality, and secular governance. Historical records show the group advocated for human rights, education, and scientific discovery during a time of monarchies and church dominance. Supporters point to the Illuminati's influence on revolutionary movements like the French Revolution and the founding principles of the United States. The theory suggests that the Illuminati's core values align closely with modern humanist organizations and democratic societies. Believers argue that the group's suppression in 1785 led to misrepresentation and villainization by those threatened by their progressive ideologies. Some historians, like Dr. Richard Van Dulman, have documented the Illuminati's genuine mission to spread Enlightenment thought across Europe. The theory posits that the Illuminati's enduring legacy lies in the promotion of rational thought, science, and intellectual freedom. Proponents claim that the group's principles remain relevant in addressing contemporary challenges such as climate change and global health crises. Supporters argue that the popular negative portrayal of the Illuminati reflects societal anxieties rather than factual evidence of malevolent intent. Illuminati blood banks refers to a theory suggesting that the Illuminati maintains secret facilities for collecting and storing human blood. Proponents believe these blood banks serve multiple purposes, including rituals, life extension treatments, and genetic experimentation. Some theorists claim that the Illuminati targets specific blood types or individuals with rare genetic markers for their collections. Supporters point to unexplained disappearances and reports of unauthorized blood draws as potential evidence for these covert operations. The theory often incorporates ideas about vampirism among elite circles suggesting that consuming human blood grants increased longevity or power. Some believers argue that certain medical facilities and blood donation centers are fronts for these secretive Illuminati operations. Proponents cite historical accounts of blood rituals in ancient cultures as precedent for modern-day practices among secret societies. The theory sometimes intersects with human trafficking conspiracies, suggesting that victims are used as living blood banks. Some adherents claim that the Illuminati uses advanced technology to synthesize blood products with enhanced properties. Believers often link this theory to broader ideas about the Illuminati's pursuit of immortality and superhuman abilities through various means. The I Love You hack refers to a computer worm that spread rapidly across the globe in May 2000, causing widespread damage to computer systems. This malicious software disguised itself as a love letter attachment in emails, exploiting human curiosity and trust. When opened, the worm overwrote system files and sent copies of itself to all contacts in the user's address book. 
the I Love You worm affected an estimated 50 million computers worldwide within just 10 days of its release. It caused billions of dollars in damages and forced many organizations, including the Pentagon and the British Parliament, to shut down their email systems. The creator of the worm, Onel de Guzman, claimed it was an accident resulting from a thesis project gone wrong. Some theorists suggest the worm was actually a test of cyber warfare capabilities by a state actor or hacking group. Proponents of this view point to the worm's unprecedented speed and scale of infection as evidence of sophisticated design. Some experts believe that the I Love You hack served as a blueprint for more advanced cyber attacks in subsequent years. Immortality by digital, or digital immortality, refers to the concept of preserving a person's consciousness, memories, and personality in a digital format allowing them to continue existing after physical death. Proponents believe that advanced technology will eventually enable the complete mapping and replication of human neural networks. This digitized consciousness could theoretically be uploaded into a computer system, virtual reality, or even a synthetic body. Some researchers are already working on creating detailed brain scans and developing artificial intelligence that can mimic human thought patterns. Companies like Etername and LifeNot offer services to create digital avatars based on users' social media data and personal information. Advocates argue that digital immortality could preserve human knowledge and experiences indefinitely, contributing to the collective wisdom of humanity. The concept intersects with transhumanist ideas about enhancing human capabilities and extending lifespans through technology. Critics raise ethical concerns about the nature of consciousness, and whether a digital copy can truly be considered the same as the original person. Some believe that quantum computing advancements may eventually provide the processing power necessary to simulate complex human consciousness. The potential for digital immortality has inspired numerous works of science fiction, potentially influencing public perception and scientific pursuit of the concept. Incorruptible saints refers to a phenomenon in which the bodies of certain individuals, often religious figures, allegedly do not decompose after death. This occurrence is recognized by the Roman Catholic and Eastern Orthodox churches as a potential sign of divine intervention or sainthood. The most famous example is Saint Bernadette of Lourdes, whose body reportedly remains preserved since her death in 1879. Believers point to the visual evidence of these preserved bodies, often displayed in glass coffins, as proof of their incorruptibility. Some cases show bodies maintaining flexibility, lack of rigor mortis, or even bleeding when cut, decades or centuries after death. Proponents argue that the preservation occurs without use of artificial embalming techniques, or special environmental conditions. Skeptics suggest natural mummification processes, cool and dry burial conditions, or unacknowledged embalming as possible explanations. The Catholic Church now requires thorough scientific investigation before declaring a body incorruptible. Some researchers propose that certain genetic factors or rare medical conditions might contribute to natural body preservation. The phenomenon continues to attract pilgrims and researchers, blending religious faith with scientific inquiry into post-mortem biology. Incunabula refers to books printed in Europe before 1501, during the earliest period of the printing press. These texts represent a pivotal transition from handwritten manuscripts to mass-produced printed books. The term comes from the Latin word for cradle, signifying the infancy of printing technology. Incunabula are highly valued by historians and collectors for their rarity and historical significance. The Gutenberg Bible, printed around 1455, is one of the most famous examples of incunabula. These early printed works played a crucial role in spreading knowledge and increasing literacy rates across Europe. Many incunabula feature unique typographical characteristics and illustrations that provide insights into early printing techniques. Some scholars believe that studying incunabula can reveal important information about cultural and intellectual trends of the 15th century. The production of incunabula contributed to the standardization of languages and the preservation of classical texts. Certain conspiracy theories suggest that some incunabula contain hidden codes or esoteric knowledge deliberately concealed by early printers. 
like the video, and subscribe to the channel. The left link takes you to more clips like this. The right link takes you to the full episodes these are from. Thanks for watching.